Kia ora, ko Peter Lucas Jones tō kui ngoa. Ko au te kai whakahaere matua o te reo irirangi o te hiko o te ika. My name is Peter Lucas Jones and I'm the CEO of Te Reo Irirangi o Te Hiku o Te Ika, otherwise known as Te Hiku Media. Our organisation is a charitable trust and it belongs to the five iwi of Te Hiku o Te Ika, Ngāti Kuri, Te Upauri, Ngāi Takoto, Te Rārawa, me Ngāti Kahu. It was established 30 years ago by our kuia and kaumātua and the reason it was established was to maintain our language, te reo Māori, as a method of communication and not just an academic experience. Tehiku Media began as an iwi radio station and it is a monument to the advocates and leaders of the Māori rights movement, those people that played a role in the critical rights and interests movement for Te Reo Māori. 30 years ago, we started broadcasting and we haven't stopped. But what we have also done is branched out into data science, archiving, training, and live video streaming content, outdoor broadcasting, taking our Māori events to the world where our people live. Our vision has always been he reo tuku iho, he reo ora. And if I was to offer an interpretation of that in te reo Pākehā, I would say intergenerational language, um, living language. Colonisation has separated many people, Māori people, from their culture, language and heritage. We've looked back at our history and then we've looked at where our people are today. Many Māori people have been traumatised by being alienated from language and culture intergenerationally. So for many people, reclaiming correct pronunciation is a way to reclaim identity. It's very different for people that might have um, feelings of shame, anxiety, or inadequacy around not being able to speak their indigenous language. And in developing Rongo, we thought about how we could provide people with an opportunity to learn in the privacy of their own home, under a tree at the beach, or wherever they felt comfortable and wherever they could feel that they could move forward. And so the work we do is very much about reconnecting people and Māori language pronunciation is one of the very important features of being a proficient speaker of te reo Māori and that gave rise to our vision to create a Māori language pronunciation model and also an app. Tino pai, whakarongo mai, the Rongo app was funded by Te Mātāwai and we're very grateful for the support that we received from Te Mātāwai to help in our development of this app. The app itself has 24 levels and it's focused on listening and then mimicking sound. The beautiful thing about Rongo is it follows the Māori pedagogy of listening and then repeating and using that style to remember and teaching us how to use our mouths that are generally only speaking te reo Pākehā. So how do we provide a journey for our people to improve their reo Māori. We've done that through the development of Rongo. Providing real-time feedback for a user. We're all on a journey of learning, myself included. And we know that you only get as good as those that you are exposed to. So what we're doing is trying to provide exposure to te reo Māori, proficient te reo Māori pronunciation. More recently, our revenue started to grow 
as a result of the new tools that we've created. Um, they're natural language processing tools um, and the pronunciation model that sits behind Rungo is also a natural language processing tool in its own right. It's our pronunciation model. With more revenue, uh, there is more management required. Uh, management of people, but also management of finance, reviewing finance, reviewing strategic activities, and we've leaned heavily on our relationship with BDO and Kiri Kiri, particularly uh, with Angela. Angela and her team provide not only financial services, but a special Māori intelligence and a way to apply that Māori intelligence, Māori cultural intelligence to business development. For us, that was not just necessary. It was something that we required to move us from one type of understanding to an increased type of understanding about how quickly things can grow and how important it is to keep across everything. And for us, that has been extremely helpful and extremely beneficial, not only for our business development, but our business management too. Rungo is a tool to help us reconnect ourselves and our whanau with our identity. And so that when someone stands up and speaks their pepeha or speaks a mihi, they can say that in a way that easily conveys the messages of which they intend to speak. And that is the idea that sits behind rongo. Rongo is the beginning of a pronunciation journey and tool that we are offering through Te Reo Irirangi o Te Hiko o Te Ika. In terms of our growth, we hope to create many more apps. We have also created Kaituhi, which is a Māori language transcription app. We've also created a Māori language synthetic voice. The way that we manage our business has been very much supported by BDO at Kiri Kiri. And I would say that nothing's more important than having a CFO that has Māori cultural intelligence, has Māori cultural community experience and understanding. That, woven together with high level business and financial advice, has supported us to think up new ways to realise our vision. And our vision is, he reo tuku iho, he reo ora. Our vision is so important. It's about living language transmitted intergenerationally. Thinking about the relationship of our kaumātua and our mokopuna. And when we think about the hua mātauranga, or the fruits of that, there are so many. In that way, we can learn waiata. In that way, we can learn more teatea. In that way, we can teach people to fai kōrero. In that way, young women can learn to karanga. In that way, we can look at how to support the ongoing survival of our language as a method of communication and not just an academic experience. That's the vision.